so I'm in the hotel airport. I just woke up. I'm so tired. I'll be showing you guys how my room is in a bit. Let me get ready first, okay? Hi guys, so I just got ready. So usually when I travel in airports, I travel like a slob, you know, sweatpants, whatever not. And yesterday I saw this lady, she was dressed to the nines and she seemed like she could still travel comfortably. So that's what I'm trying today. I am ready and I'm kind of dressed up, not too much. I'm still wearing sports shoe and whatnot. But I decided to give my clothes a chance, you know. So let's see how that goes. So this is what I'm wearing, just a top and high waist pants, <clears throat> put on some makeup, just a little bit, and this is my room, okay, there's a hotel room, this is the bed, you have to climb up, you have to step on this, to go up there, and that's the TV, and here's a mirror, and here's a toilet, and next to the toilet is the sink. So you can play with the water while you take a shit. As you can see, this is the whole room. And thus ends our tour. I need to go get a bus to Heathrow now. But before, let me have some breakfast. London as gloomy as ever. So it's 8 degrees and we are waiting outside in the wind. I'll let you guys know why. So it's such a long story and it's been such a long day that I feel like I'm going to die. Do you want to know what happened to me? Yesterday, which was Thursday night, I flew from Isle of Man to Gatwick and stayed at the hotel at the airport. Then this morning, which was Friday, I had to check out at 9, then wait around to take the bus at 11. Then after that, I reached Heathrow at 12. And from 12 to 8, I've been waiting and waiting for my flight, which is supposed to be around 9. And I'm flying Malaysian Airlines, by the way. So at 9, the flight got delayed a bit, and it got delayed until it was 12 when they say the flight is cancelled because there's some problem with something but I'm okay with the flight cancellation and whatnot because better safe than sorry yeah and it's kind of like tiring like I've been waiting for so long I think I've been in the airport for more than a day now and as you can see my voice is cracking because I'm so hungry and they sent us off to a hotel I thought they was gonna send us to some cheap ass airport hotel but they sent us to Radisson Blue Edwardian Hotel or something. Look how big my room is. I got two beds that I can jump back and forth on and there's this huge place and there's this conference table. There's this cool ass chair and some painting a picture of some cool ass people and I have the view of a car park. Never mind about that. And I also have this cool cupboard here. And of course, the toilet. The most important thing. Nice toilet with a bath. pretty good I would say but I'm really tired it's already 2 a.m. and I'm going to sleep and I also can't sleep too deep because I have to stay awake just in case they contact us on the rescheduling and whatnot I would say that the uh, what do you call that the staff handled it really well I mean they were really calm and they were helpful and one lady had a really nice pair of shoes and I asked her about it she said she got it from Bahamas how am I going to get that shoe I do not know but yeah, that's my story. I really can't wait for the new update. So after the flight update, uh, I can finally reach Malaysia and eat some bloody nasi lemak. So it's the next day. I'm chilling at the hotel room. I went to get some 
McDonald's coffee because it's the best coffee in the world. Not a sponsor. Um, then I asked the reception what's happening and they said there's no update but two people got into some flight. Maybe they changed airlines or something. I don't know. But all I have to do now is wait in this cozy room. Unfortunately, I'm, I keep waiting for news that I can't sleep properly. I'm so friggin' tired. Can I shoot someone? Can I? Let's hope this goes well. I think you guys post it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have landed at KL International Airport. It is a safety requirement that you remain seated until the aircraft comes to a complete stop. And the seatbelt sign has been switched off. Do be careful whenever you open the overhead compartment. Kindly ensure you do not leave any of your personal items behind. You may use your mobile phones after the seatbelt sign is switched off. The local time now is 12.36pm and the temperature is reported as 30 degrees Celsius. To our visitors, selamat datang to beautiful Malaysia and to Malaysians, welcome home. Hi guys, just landed. I already took off my sweater because it's 30 degrees. I'm so excited. Can't wait to get the baggage and get going. So I'm waiting for my luggage now. And the fun part is I'm going to be surprising my mom. She doesn't know that I'm coming. She thinks that I'm coming on the 18th, 17th, 18th. I don't know what date I told her. So it's going to be fun. I'll film how that happens. Actually, I'll ask my brother to film that happening. And stay tuned. <laughs> Hi everyone! So it was so much fun surprising my family and I spent the last few days eating and spending time with them. If you want to know my journey here, do follow me on my Instagram. The details are below. And see you guys next time. Bye!